Today on my Santa Gaddis, we're making a hot roast beef sub sandwich with cheese. So let's get started. Yeah, to make our delicious hot roast beef sub sandwich with cheese, we have about two pounds of roast beef here that we cooked the other day, and I'll put a link in the description how we did that. Boy, that turned out good. Check it out. And over here we have our A's use that we made from that roast. So we're going to use that today. And back here we have garlic butter and chive. Yep, we're going to use that. Over here we have over a cup of mozzarella cheese. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's get some of this out of our way and put it aside. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and slice up our roast really thin if we can do it. And we're going to be using our Assetti knife. It's a Santuco knife. You know what? I better sharpen this. Let's go ahead and use our anti-sharp knife sharpener and sharpen this up good real quick like. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. And we'll get our anti-sharp knife sharpener. <laughs> yeah. I forgot I was going to sharpen it before I uh, started the video here, but let's go ahead and use it. We'll put it right here and we'll clamp it down. And we'll take our Assetti knife here, the Santuco, and we'll go ahead and sharpen it. We'll pull it through there maybe three times. Just like that, nice and light. Oh yeah. Sharpen that right up. Okay, let's remove our any sharp knife sharpener. It's got a nice suction cup on there. It won't move when you're sharpening your knives. Okay, so we're back. And man, is that sharp. Yep, okay. Let's go ahead and slice up our roast beef. Try to do it real thin. Maybe we ought to cut this piece off here just to, so we can handle it better. Let's do that. Okay, put this aside for a minute. And we'll slice this one up. Let's see how thin we can make this. Boy, that knife is sharp. Really sharp, that knife is. Yep. Now we're going to try to cut these as thin as we can. You know, like you would with an electric slicer. Just do the best you can. Okay, that's about all we can do with that piece. We'll put this aside. Now, if you see any big pieces of fat like that, you can just trim them out. But for now, we'll just move this aside here and see what we can do with this one. Yeah, that's got some fat there. But that's okay. We'll trim it out of there. Let me get rid of this piece. Maybe this. Okay, now let's cut it up. Now we're going across the grain here, so it, it should be really tender. This is very tender anyway. It looks like we're going to have plenty of meat there. <laughs> yep. Well, we'll have enough. We'll get as much as we can on the roll, right? Or we'll save some and make, make another one later. Okay, that's about it right there. We'll just put that aside. Let me see if I can show you a piece. Look at that. Look how tender that is. Yeah, 
Boy, we cooked that perfectly the other day, and it was perfectly medium rare with very little dark around the edge, and boy, was that tasty. And that A's use. Thumbs up on the A's use. Okay, now let's go through here and make sure we don't have any big chunks of fat or anything. And that looks good. That's not too bad. Looks pretty good. We can take this piece out if we want. And maybe we'll take this one out. Okay, just like that. Could even take that one out right there, little piece. Okay. A little bit of fat gives it a lot of flavor, you know. So, we'll just leave some in. Okay, that looks pretty good. And we'll get rid of this big piece of fat. Yeah. Now you don't have to use all this. You can put it aside and just save the big pieces for your sandwich. But we're going to put them all in the A's use because if we don't use it, we'll end up saving it and we'll make another sandwich or something out of it later. Well, that's a lot of roast beef for one sandwich. We're probably going to save some of it though and make another one later. But for today, we're just going to make one big nice one, see how much we can get on there. That sounds good. Okay, let's go ahead and put our roast beef in a bowl. Wow, that looks nice. Okay, we'll put that on one side and we're just going to go ahead and grab these and put them on the other side. Wow, look at that. That's just beautiful. Okay, let's put that aside for now and clean up a little bit here. Okay, there's our really tasty looking roast beef that we sliced up. It's about two pounds. We have a nice sub roll about a cup and a quarter or a cup and a half of mozzarella cheese, our garlic butter with our chive, and our a juice. So now all we have to do is start cooking. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, now we're going to set our burner to medium, and we're going to take our tasty a juice here that we made from that chuck roast the other day, and we're going to put that right in the pan here. And we're going to bring that up to a light simmer. Okay, our a juice is just starting to simmer. Now in that a juice, there's a, about a cup of wine and a cup of beef bouillon or beef stock. And there's a little bit of onion powder, garlic powder, and black pepper. Yeah, that sounds good. Plus there's butter in there from when we basted the roast with butter. <laughs> yeah, so this a juice is really tasty. Okay, while our a juice is starting to simmer, we're going to add our roast beef. Yeah, boy, that looks nice, doesn't it? Let's put that in there. Look at all that. Well, I don't think that's all fitting on the sandwich. But that's okay. We'll save some of that for later. Maybe we'll make another sandwich tomorrow. Okay, let's stir that around a little. Get it mixed in with the juices there. 
Okay, all we're trying to do here is just warm up our roast beef because it's already cooked. Wow, that looks <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> okay. Okay, we'll let that warm up a little bit. Okay, it looks like our roast beef has warmed up pretty good. I like it. It looks good. Smells even better. Yeah, really nice. Okay, that's about it right there. That's all we needed to do is warm up our roast beef and get that age juice taste and flavor mixed in. So let's go ahead and shut off our burner. And we're going to put this aside. Now we're going to take our cast iron griddle and we're going to build our nice hot roast beef sandwich right here. Yeah. First we're going to take our nice sub roll and we're going to open her up. And we're going to take our garlic butter. Yeah. And we're going to put some of that right on each side. And it's got the chive in there. Or green onions, whatever you prefer. I'm going to spread that on there. Okay. Okay, there we go. Let's put some mozzarella cheese on our roll here. We'll put it on the bottom one here. There you go. Just like that. And we'll take some of our roast beef and we'll lay it right on top of there. It's still nice and hot. And the juices are there. Wow, that's going to be good. Let's see how much we can get on there, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's about it. Well, we have enough left to make maybe one more sandwich. We got quite a bit on there, though. That is quite a bit. There's a piece of cheese. Okay, now we're going to put a little more cheese on top. See if we can get it on there. Yep, this is going to be a big one. <laughs> Everything I make is big. All right, let's put a little cheese on the top roll here. And we might have to split the roll in half and put it on top of this one because I don't know if we're going to be able to fold it up. Okay, that's about all the cheese I can get. And that was about a, a little over a cup of cheese. So that's quite a bit. Okay, now we're going to add a little more pepper on top. Just a little bit of garlic powder. And some onion powder. Now you could add a tiny bit of salt. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to put that in a preheated 400 degree oven. For about 5 to 10 minutes. Until the cheese melts. And we form a little crust on our bread. So let's do that. Put that right in there. Okay, here it is guys. Wow, look at that. All that cheese is really melted. <laughs> yeah, boy does that smell good. Now all we have to do is see if we can fold this up 
And we'll do that when we get ready to taste it. So let's do that. Let's get into a piece of this and give it a taste test. Yeah, boy, this is going to be good. Let's do that. Have a taste test. Okay, guys, here it is. Wow, look at that sandwich. Man, is that big. <laughs> yep. Okay. You know what we're missing on our hot roast beef sub sandwich with plenty of cheese and plenty of roast beef? Horseradish sauce, yep. Yeah. We'll put a little bit of that on there. There you go. Beautiful. Let's see if we can fold this up. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's do it. Okay, we got him. Wow, is that big. Okay. And we can't forget our au jus as a dipping sauce. Yeah, let's do that. We'll put that right there. Well, there you have it, guys. Our hot roast beef sub sandwich with cheese. And we simmered it in our au jus dipping sauce to give it an extra flavor. And we also have some au jus dipping sauce that we can dip our bread in. Yeah, that's going to taste good. All right, let's cut this in half and see how it is. Wow, that bread is nice and toasty. Okay, let's see how we did. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Boy, is that good looking or what? But it's going to taste good. So let's have a little taste. First, let's dip it in our Azus. Okay. Let's have a bite. Boy, is that so tender and juicy. And that Azus, wow. It kicked it up a notch. And that horseradish sauce on there and all that cheese. Yep, you can't beat this. Boy, is it tasty. And that garlic bread is just awesome. Yep, and then we have enough to make another one. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you have it, guys. A delicious hot roast beef sub sandwich with cheese and a juice dipping sauce. With plenty of cheese, plenty of roast beef, and loaded with flavor. Yeah, this is just plain delicious. And if you have a couple friends over, go ahead and make two of them. <laughs> yeah, because they won't last long. And you know what go good with this right here? A nice wobble pop. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, guys, if you're enjoying these videos, go ahead and like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Mmm, hot roast beef sub sandwich with cheese and dipping sauce. Yeah, can't beat that.